Hey everyone, PL here. In this video, I'm going to go over how to counterplay strategies that have been setting social media on fire. If you haven't been on Twitter, here's what's been going on. There was a tournament last week, TNS Online's first Dragon Ball Sparking Zero tournament, and players were resorting to all the scumbaggery to win. Crazy strategies in general, but the ones that stood out to everyone was the Android 19 and 20 timer scan strategy and the Z legendary Super Saiyan Broly using his Key Blast to lock you down and put you in a situation to get hit by his ultimate. Players who have nothing better to do and instead of minding their business, they wanted to take this as an opportunity to try to crap all over Dragon Ball Spark and Zero and gatekeep it from being a competitive game or so they say because it's not balanced or whatever. I'm here with counterplay for those that want to push back on the naysayers and continue enjoying Dragon Ball Spark and Zero. All right, now let's get into the counterplay. <laughs> what is this doing? Get up and down. Get through this. It's futile, bro. It's futile, brother. Basically, you shoot beams and they track. You gotta do it at the right time, obviously, but like. See, look at that clear counterplay you just freaking shoot beams at people you you say oh this person's an idiot let me just sit back and power up you're gonna let me power up all right go ahead let me power up so i can freaking throw this shit at you like come on man you gotta sit and listen to twitter Ugh, this game shouldn't be a competitive game because i don't have a brain Ugh. at the right time See, look at this. Oh my God, dude, look. You saw how simple that was? He pointed down to him. And now he pointed up to hit him. Dude, come on. All right, so you've probably dealt with this situation before or been hit by this, and it's aggravating. Trust me, I know. I know how you guys feel. Especially if you're coming to the game and you're new, and you have no idea of the mechanics and what you can do. It's gonna be frustrating. You're gonna feel like turning game off. However, fear not, we got the counterplay. See, all you gotta do is dash or fly and hold the block button. Whatever you have the block button to. Somebody got mad at me because I didn't say which block button it was. My block button is R1 or RB, okay? And your clown classic is probably circle. But you hold this button and you fly and while you're flying, you will constantly be doing like an auto deflect. If you're, and as long as you're moving and holding the, the block button and they shoot key blasts at you, you'll be all right because you'll deflect everything. And on top of that, not only do you, do you deflect everything, why, when you deflect everything, it builds up your skill points. So then you get to build up enough skill points, you wanna have two for this, to do a revenge counter. And a revenge counter works after you get hit. So you can mix up the timing versus them and really throw them off because they see you start reflecting, they might throw out their uh, block, their uh, ultimate, right? But also, when you revenge counter, the timing is kind of weird for them. So mix up when you revenge counter in different ranges to make it difficult for them to retaliate. Also, you can hit him out of blast two with a, the armor grab. You can hit him out of that with the revenge counter if he tries to do key blast and then go into it. But he could do key blast into ultimate. So be careful. What I would say is have uh, something like Wild Sense or or After Image on. So then when he shoots the ultimate, you get an auto dodge. But other than that, you're going to have to time the Z counter properly to avoid that. But this is the counterplay. I hope this helps your matches and you're able to get over these pesky Broly players. I don't think anything needs nerfs. Everything that we need to overcome the strategies in this game are already in this game. So let's level up together and hope to see you guys in matchmaking or on stream. Peace.